and welcome to this video on designing learning pathways. It's important to structure your content effectively. After all, this helps you communicate the information clearly and in a logical order to engage your audience and improve retention. More than anything, it ensures that your learners have a compelling journey to embark on and they can see the progress that they've made. So, how are we going to get started? As ever, you should start by analysing your audience. Who are your audience? What motivates them? What are their current preferences? What are their current challenges? Once you really understand about your audience, you can then start setting them some goals. So, consider what knowledge, skills or competencies you want each audience segment to gain. These goals should translate naturally into learning objectives. Remember that they should be specific, measurable, and achievable by your learners. Bloom's Taxonomy. Now is a great time to consider Bloom's Taxonomy. This is a hierarchical model that is used to classify learning objectives into levels of complexity. How far up the hierarchy would you like your learners to go? Do they just need to remember the information or should they be able to apply it? Or even should they be able to use it to create something entirely new? Once you've selected your level of complexity, pick a relevant action verb and this should help you form the objective for your learning pathway. With this in mind, you can select learning activities that match the desired level of cognitive complexity. So for example, quizzes for remembering, case studies for analyzing or group projects for creating. Now it's time to sequence these activities in a logical order. So use instructional scaffolding to ensure that each activity builds on the last. Provide opportunities for learners to really reflect on their learning and connect the new knowledge to their prior knowledge on the subject. Add an assessment at the end of a course so that learners can see how far they've come. You could also add a game mechanic to your pathway to really help and boost that engagement. And finally, don't forget to seek out feedback from your learners. We all need to learn how to get better. So their suggestions may help you to make your pathways even more effective in the future. And there we have it. Crafting effective learning pathways is an instructional art form. But when done right, it creates fabulous outcomes. It's not easy, but with the help of Bloom's Taxonomy, it is possible. Just remember, to keep your learner's needs, your learner's requirement at the forefront of your mind, because that is the secret source in delighting and exciting them. Good luck.